So this question says, in the xy plane, I'm going to stop there because they didn't give us an xy plane. So again, out of habit, and just to be clear, maybe this habit is not always useful, but I think is useful enough to make the habit, right? So anytime I read in the xy plane, I'm going to treat this like a plug-in picture question, which means I'm going to actually draw an xy plane on my test and then keep reading to see if there's any way for me to label this xy plane in a useful way. So in the xy plane, the graph of function f has x-intercepts at negative 3. Okay, so as soon as I start to label, I want to make sure that I'm doing the best I can to make the units equidistant, right? So that's negative 3. So I have a point there. Also, I have a point at negative 1 on the x-axis. So a point there and 1. So again, making it equidistant as possible. So I have a point there. Which of the following could define f? Now, the truth is I didn't necessarily need this if I understand the like what x-intercepts mean for, func for functions. Um, you know, if I were to graph this, this could look like that. Doesn't have to. I can use a different color. Obviously, it could also look like this, right? So there's a couple things going on here. So what's most important, however, more important than the picture for this particular question, is that x-intercepts represent ordered pairs, right? So the x-intercepts represent ordered pairs. What are the ordered pairs they've given me? Well, basically, if negative 3 is an x-intercept, that means negative 3, comma, 0. Negative 1 is also an x-intercept, so negative 1, comma, 0. And then lastly, 1, comma, 0. So what does that mean? And I'm going to really take my time to break all this down so that you can understand how to think like this for future questions. This means that when x equals negative 3, y, or f of x, right, because f of x and y are the same thing, equals 0. So same thing here, x equals negative 1. I'm going to say f of x equals 0 because all of our all of our answers are in terms of f of x. When x equals positive 1, f of x equals 0. So these points then become things that I can use to test my answer choices. So choice A, if I were to plug in negative 3, right? If I were to plug in x equals negative 3, here I'd get negative 6, here I'd get negative 4, and here I'd get negative 2. Negative 6 times negative 4 times negative 2 does not equal 0, right? Again, this tells me that when x is negative 3, f of x should be 0. So that means a is gone. How about for b? When x is negative 3, this becomes negative 6. When x is... Um, when x is negative 3 here, this becomes negative 4, but negative 4 squared turns into a positive 16. And again, that also does not give me a 0. How about for choice C? If I put negative 3 here, this becomes negative 4, this becomes negative 2, this becomes 0. So that actually does work. And how about for choice D? When I put negative 3 here, that becomes uh, negative 2, but then squared, which is positive 4. And then this becomes zero. So that also works. So based upon the first point, two answer choices are crossed out, A and B, but two answer choices remain. So now I'm going to move on to negative one as the X value that I test. So for choice C, if I put negative one in, I can see here by plugging negative one, that's going to make that zero. But the same is true here, right? So that's not going to be helpful in determining between C and D. So lastly, how about when I try x equals positive 1, right? Because again, when x equals 1, f of x should equal 0. So when I put a 1 in, this does become 0. So that makes the whole thing 0. So that's good. However, if I put a 1 here, this is 4, and this becomes 4. So that's 4 times 4 is 16. So that's not 0. So d is gone. And therefore, choice c is the only answer that fit all three conditions, right? The three conditions here are when x equals negative 3, y is 0, and when x equals negative 1, f of x equals 0, or y equals 0, and when x equals 1, f of x is also 0. So that's all I did. I said if this is true, which it must be true, because that's what they gave me, then I'm just going to test out each answer choice based upon what I know to be true.